to the sports corner. Manchester City completed the treble, taking over the league, the cup, and the champions. Only the second English team to do so in history, but there are some questions uh, being asked as for how they got their glory. So our 24 News Global sports correspondent Joey Lazarage is joining us here in uh, uh, studio. Is money playing too much of a role in global soccer altogether? You know, Joey, uh, the, uh, I, I don't know much about Soccer, but I did watch uh, Ted Lasso, and 15 <laughs> years ago, Manchester City was, you know, a very uh, middle of the ward, ward like uh, road rather, club. Um, now they're one of the best. How did they got? Here? I mean, they were very much back 15 years ago, like Richmond FC, right? a small <laughs> club, you know, family club. They were not a big club in Manchester. You know, Manchester United was the big dog in town. And let's not beat a bear on the bush. It's money. Money mm. came in from the UAE. They were bought by Sheikh Mansour. His brother is now the ruler of the UAE. And this is clearly a project to try and enhance the global image of the UAE. But it's not just about money because anyone can throw money at a project. They hired the right people at the right stages. They also failed. They signed players, big stars at the beginning. It did not work out. And they realized they have to build up. Mm. And so they built up slowly but surely in the early 2010s. They finally win their first Premier League, then they go for other trophies, they want to build consistency and everything just built up until they could finally get that trophy and get, complete the treble, which is just such a historic moment in English football. So, so maybe we're just being ungrateful brats, maybe it is just talent that, that is speaking here? Well, you know, talent is one thing and how do you acquire talent, obviously, it's right. money. But no, on the field, the collection of players they have, they have one of the best managers in the history of football. Mm. They have great uh, people in the front office who know what they're doing, buying and selling players at the right time. It's not just the money. You have to be able to manage the money. Mm. But um, to say that money didn't play a part into it, obviously it did. But this is a great collection of players. They dominated. They've dominated the English Premier League for the last five years. Yeah. And now they finally got their name on their European Cup. Oh, okay, and after we hailed the talent, 115 charges of our financial aid. Uh, impropriety. Uh, fill us in. Uh, d does that make it to an extent a bit unfair? I is it a form of cheating? I think until we get a resolution from the Premier League and the judges and everyone that's going to you know, litigate this, mm. there's always going to be a question about, you know, was this a cheating? Was, was it a maybe getting around the rules to try and get better and quicker and breaking the financial rules, obviously, because as a club that's been growing, they don't have that financial club that Manchester United had, that Chelsea have, revenue-wise, that could justify the money they spend, in the, according to the European and English football rules. So obviously the club says they're innocent, Pep Guardiola, the manager, says they're innocent, we'll see. Um, most fans like to say 115, 115, you yeah. know, it doesn't count. The treble can't count because, listen, the players did it. They won on the field. The manager exactly. did it. It'll always be for them. But there is the financial issue, and we will see whether or not uh, it'll affect uh, the future and we'll not have to get punished for it uh, in the coming years. Yeah, a bit unfair for the players themselves to, to, to uh, tarnish their victory. Of course, so that makes just playing on the yeah, field. Yeah, yeah, they did a good job, and now it is somewhat being tarnished. But on the global level, uh, uh, Joey, you know, the, the Saudis are still in splurging. Uh, uh, mode buying everyone essentially Miami also uh, big spenders yeah. with, with uh, Messi etc. Is, is money playing too much of a role, of a role in global soccer? I would say that money's pl money's always been involved. In the 70s, it was the U.S. trying to buy Pele. Um, in the 90s, it was the English Premier League becoming a global force in the leagues. But obviously, the big concern is whether or not states and countries should be allowed to invest all this money as a project to enhance their image on the global stage. China tried to do it about 10 years ago, like the Saudis are now, to buy the best players mm -hmm. they could to bring to the league. It didn't work. It worked for five or no, six seasons in China itself, but they couldn't get the global attraction that the league in Europe do. And that's going to be Saudi Arabia's biggest problem because how do you convince someone who wants to watch Manchester United every week to watch Al Nassar, right? And uh. you hope that the players that you bring in will bring in the players, but the, the attraction to the team takes time. And that's something that Major League Soccer has been trying to do over time is build up slowly and slowly. We'll see if they are successful. Messi will obviously bring a brand new audience to that league. But it takes time. It takes a lot of effort. And we've seen when players go to these, uh, these leagues, you know, yeah. foreign leagues, when they leave, sometimes the attraction leaves with them. The fans are really just there to see the players. So it'll be interesting to see whether Saudi, whether MLS can hold the fans that will come and watch their big superstars yeah, at, now. At the end of the day, uh, fans are loyal to their team, yes. uh, not the individuals. Of in course. It. It's a team, uh, team play. <laughs> Joel Lazarovich at 24 News Global Sports Correspondent. Thank you, as always, Anytime. for... Uh,